Welcome back to the Rough Riders pregame show. I'm here with starting pitcher Ryan Fearbin. And Ryan, uh, two starts for you so far under your belt. How do you feel here in the early season? I feel good. You know, the season start early. Um, there's a lot of us still trying to work out the kinks of starters. We didn't get to get stretched out as much as we would have liked to uh, in camp. But, you know, uh, that's just going to come with time, getting getting more innings under our belt. Uh, uh, but I feel good, you know. Um, hopefully the next outing I'll be able to go at least six. Uh, I went four the first. And I have the second on short rest, so hopefully six or seven next time out. And you mentioned not being able to be stretched out in the spring. Um, you know, it is early part of the season, and then you're asked to go on short rest. Uh, how often have you done that, and what kind of challenges does that bring? Um, I've only gone on short rest a couple times. Uh, I did it once last year, um, came back on short rest. It, it makes it tough as a starter. You know, you try to, to work in a routine. Uh, myself being somewhat of an older guy, I've been around a while. Uh, they needed they needed pitching, and I was one of the starters that was able to go on short rest. And I, I told him I was willing to do it. And you know, we came out with the loss, but um, you know, I felt good about the uh, about the outing. I wish I wouldn't have given up so many runs, but uh, I feel good. You know, anytime you can help a team going on short rest and it comes out as a positive, it's a good thing. Well, and uh, you know, you brought up short rest again. Uh, here in the early season, you're not the only guy that's you know uh, had shorter starts. It's pretty typical here in the Texas League and elsewhere in the minor league baseball. How long does it take typically for, for you to get stretched down to the point where you feel like you're kind of going max stamina um, in any given night? Uh, you know, it'll probably be another another uh, two starts or so. Um, the the uh, pitch count isn't so much a big thing. It's the more or less the up and downs um, on your arm having the rest in between innings because you could have a, a two minute minute where you're sitting down and you can have a 15 minute inning. Obviously the 15 minute it's good because you know your team's hitting but um, uh, the pitch count hasn't been there. I've only been at 65, 75 pitches the last two outings. Uh, so if I can build up my pitch count a little bit, uh, which I'm hoping to do in the next start or two, maybe I'll be at close to 100 pitches by the fourth outing. Talking here with Ryan Fearbin, starting pitcher for the Frisco Rough Riders. The Riders taking on the Arkansas Travelers tonight here in their home opener at Dr. Pepper Ballpark. And uh, Ryan, you've got big league experience, um, which is, is rare on this team. Uh, what's your attitude like? How is it different in, in comparison to your, your time through the minors before you made it up to the show? Uh, there's there's really no difference. The only only thing I can uh, can say is that you know I've already had a taste of the big leagues. Um, I've had a little bit more than a cup of coffee in my career, and um, I know how hard it is to get there, so it makes me push myself that much harder. Um, getting there is hard, but staying there is even harder. So just being here, um, just try and do my best and, and, and pitch my best, and whether it's I stay here all year or go to AAA or eventually to, to Arlington to help out the big league club, uh, just you know, go out, control what you can control, and uh, just pitch to your, your best ability. And when the Rangers brought you in uh, here in this offseason, um, was there any discussion about the kind of role you potentially could have with a big league team? I mean, how do you see your role moving forward, and, and what are you trying to focus on to make sure that you can get back? Uh, there was really no role uh, discussed. Uh, myself, I uh, had a meeting with uh, Danny Clark, our pitching coordinator, and uh, Tim Perpera, our uh, farm director, and I told him, you know, any anything I can do to help out in the organization, whether – you know, it's in double-A, triple-A. I knew coming in there was a possibility of me coming here when I signed, and I said that was fine. Um, whether it's me being a starter helping out the team up there or a reliever, I have no no preference. It's just, you know, getting back there and, and hopefully sticking and helping the team out uh, while I can while I'm up there. And while you're here, Ryan, you certainly have the opportunity to help some of the younger guys get up to the show for the first time maybe in their careers. Uh, that Major League experience have you had, how much do guys come to you and ask you questions about that, how you got there, what they need to do? Um, how much are guys using you as a resource here uh, that you've seen so far? Um, there's a few guys that have come and talked to me. Uh, I'm, not, I'm not the type of guy that likes to brag about the past being in the big leagues. Um, if they ask me questions, I'm more than happy to, to help them out. Uh, we have a lot of young, talented guys here. A uh, guy thrown tonight for us, Cody Buckell. Um, he's in the same situation I was in a sense, you know, he's 20 years old in double A and I, w I was there in 2006 actually in this league playing for San Antonio and I got called up in September right after my 21st birthday. So I think the biggest thing I try to, to relate to guys and stick in their head is they're, they're not as far away as they may seem being in double A because there's a lot of guys that, that go straight from double A to big leagues. And uh, I believe last year, I think there was four guys from this team that went. So just trying to help them out and trying to, trying to let them know, like, keep doing their thing. Don't worry about outcome of games and, and just keep pressing on and, you know, it'll, it'll be here before they know it. Well, good luck uh, here the rest of the way. You're off to a pretty good start, and uh, hopefully the team is as well. Thanks for your time today. Thanks a lot. I appreciate it. That was Ryan Fearbin, starting pitcher for the Frisco Rough Riders. The Riders taking on the Arkansas Travelers tonight here at 7 o'clock from Dr. Pepper Ballpark. We'll be back with more here on the Rough Riders pregame show on the Rough Riders Baseball Network.